Hey guys, what's up? This is Will Patterson from Great Designs and I'm just doing a quick tutorial video today um, about how to um, sort of export Illustrator files into Cinema 4D so you can extrude them and make them into a 3D object. Um, so what we're going to do is head off first into Adobe Illustrator as you would and then we get this sort of file uh, where we have our project here. Uh, as you can see here uh, we have some separate paths you can see within the layers here um, so the first thing I would recommend to do you don't have to do it but I would recommend it is to like if you've got any layers locked unlock them and then go to um, and well no sorry select command A and you'll select them all and then through this press shift and M and you'll get the shape builder tool and what this does is it makes paths it merges paths together um, so then it just becomes a one big path. I think we've just done it there. There we go. Um, so now you can see that in the layers panel, it just has one layer with everything in it. And that's just one path. Once you get rid of layer four. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, after you saved it normally to Illustrator, just press um, command save and go for the normal process. What you have to do is go to um, file, save as, and then within this, you want to go to, um, you want to stay like this, but I'm going to change the name to, I'm going to make it 3D. This is on a t-shirt design that I've done. So then we press OK. And then within this, we want to change the Illustrator options. So from the version, we want to go down to Illustrator 8, because Cinema 4D, for some reason, can only recognize um, the paths from Illustrator 8 files. So that's one reason why. Um, but what I've done is I've not saved somewhere I can remember, so I'm just going to quickly go and save this to the desktop and then save it as an Illustrator 8 file and press OK. And now we've done that. Now this should be on the desktop. There it is. So what we're going to do is go to Cinema 4D, have your document open. Say you've been working on this, um, you could either just drag it in from your finders thing but that wouldn't create a new document but what I want to do is I want to go to file and merge because this will um, be able to merge this object or this file into the project I'm already working in so we we'll just press open and then you get this sort of illustrated import thing and it's all to do with the, the scales and stuff so you just want to press ok now connect splines actually I'll talk about this it splines in Illustrator actually um, sort of like paths in Illustrator. They used to, ooh, flipping plane off somehow. house. Uh, anyway, so splines are basically paths um, and they used to sort of have the boundaries of where you can extrude an object. So that's what it is really. And this is why paths are so important as a, um, if you're designing something. So we just press OK. And then we have our thing here. We have our object there, just right there. And that's how you do it. So to create an actual 3D object into this, I'll show you. I'll give you a bit of a, a demonstration. We want to go to this object. We want to hold this down. This weird square with a circle in it. We to extrude object um, or extrude nerves. And then we want to take this layer and make a child of that layer. So we've actually made this 3D, but we want to change the thickness. So we just go to movement while selecting the extrude nerves layer and just expand that. And we've created now a 3D object in Cinema 4D from paths. And now you can actually add materials and stuff and lighting to this uh, to make it look good. So guys, that's it really. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.